Good morning and welcome to TARDIS Fighter. Today, a quick look, a quick look at Vicky on the 6th of November, 1965. The first Doctor's companion, Vicky, will leave the TARDIS in the last episode of The Myth Makers, titled Horse of Destruction. Katerina will join as a new companion. Vicky took Certificate of Education in Medicine, Physics, Chemistry, and other subjects when she was 10 years old. She studied for almost an hour a week on a machine. After the death of her mother, Vicky's father wanted to get away and took a job on the planet Astra in the year 2493. But on the way, their spaceship would crash land on the planet Dido. Until she meets the first doctor, Ian and Barbara, in the rescue, Vicky believes another survivor, Bennett's account about how the natives of Dido killed her father and the rest of the crew and passengers. While everyone else was invited to a meeting by the Didodians, Vicky stayed behind as she was ill. An explosion killed everyone except Bennett, who apparently was injured. But the truth of what really happened, as Vicky learns, is very different from Bennett's story. Once she leaves Dido, Vicky is keen to start on the adventures she has been promised. Bored at the villa where the travelers stay in the Romans, and desperate for adventure, and it doesn't disappoint. When she sees first the Roman Emperor Nero, she is literally bouncing with excitement. Even the spectacle of Rome burning enthuses this young girl. My first real sight of history, she tells a doctor, and it was not to be her last. When she finally leaves the doctor, it is to join the fleeing Trojans after the ancient city of Troy falls to the Greeks. Throughout her travels with the doctor, Vicky would retain her sense of wonder and awe. That was a quick look at Vicky. I'm going to do a quick look at several of the other companions, and I hope you enjoy these videos. But for now, enjoy your journey through time and space. And good night.